Are you having fun in your business? I mean, it should be fun, right? Well, sometimes the fun gets overlooked when you're dealing with the have-tos, the complexities of being your own boss and actually running the show. It's my goal that this, the Fun Business Fun Money Podcast, can help reignite your spark of fun by providing tips, tools, insights, and inspiration so you can enjoy running your business in the simplest, easiest, most fun way possible. I'll be sharing practical tips and ideas that you can implement immediately, along with business and money mindset insights to keep you moving forward no matter what's going on around you. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies, the fun business and money coach and founder of Powered by Personality. Let's play. Hey there, and welcome to the Fun Business Fun Money podcast. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies. If you've been listening for a while, maybe even from the very start, huge shout out to you, amazing human. I appreciate you and I love the DMs I get telling me about your ahas and the results from implementing what you're learning here on the podcast. It's so good. If you're just new here, hey, hello and welcome. Grab a cuppa if you're at home, pop in your earbuds if you're out walking, crank up the volume if you're in the car. Get some fun around business and money, shall we? What I've got for you today is a quick tip. This is a phrase that I've had on repeat for such a long time that I actually have no idea where it came from. And that is stop selling free. Start selling freedom. Stop selling free. Start selling freedom. This is about focusing more on the transformation that your clients have and less on the value of your time, which is important, but it's not everything. This relates to the idea that you have to start out giving valuable content or insights for free and then upsell to a low cost thing. And then you continue on up the value ladder to your ultimate high ticket offer. Side note high ticket offer can be anything you decide it is. But generally, it's something that you would sell for 3k or more. The details of it will vary depending on what your offer actually is, but that's the gist of it. There's this notion that you have to start small and work your way up. You've got to earn your stripes and all that. But you don't. If that's what you needed to hear today, there it is. You don't have to follow that road just because others say so. What I do want you to focus on is where you want to be. Do you want to put your marketing time and energy into promoting low cost offers and freebies? Or do you want to put your marketing time and energy into promoting your highest value offer that creates more freedom for you and your clients? Whatever you want to sell is totally up to you. I'm almost always going to recommend going with your highest value offer simply because it's easy to do a downsell when someone says they can't afford that. An upsell to a higher package can take a lot more work and time. But here's an example of a low cost offer that can turn into a money maker for the right kind of person. I mentioned my business bestie, Laura, in last week's quick tip episode, so she's getting another shout out this week. Laura has an $8 membership, eight bucks, and it's for a very specific group of people in a very specific industry. I also mentioned this one back in episode 43, smash a big goal in 90 days. It's easy to think there's no way that eight bucks per person, per month, would make decent money. It's eight bucks, right? Well, Laura, being the superstar relationship builder that she is, she has turned that $8 monthly membership into a multi-six-figure business in less than 12 months. And let me tell you, it's been awe-inspiring watching her take action and create this thing literally out of nothing. It came from a conversation that we had just chatting back and forth. 
Of course, that's not to say it's been a smooth road by a long shot. But she has a very specific message around creating freedom, which her very specific audience resonate with. And they resonate so deeply with it that what she offers is a no-brainer for them to sign up and do the work. And that, I think, is actually where a lot of people get stuck. You can create an $8 monthly membership or a high-ticket 3K offer, 10K, whatever price you want to put on it. But if you're not selling the freedom that people can create when they use your product or service, it may as well be free for all the use it's going to get. Stop selling free. Start selling freedom. It's not about the price. It's about what's possible for your audience when they buy your thing, no matter what the price. Now, I realize not everyone is great at using their imagination and painting the picture of what's possible, the results that your clients can get from you. And that's most likely a hangover from the education system and the emphasis which is put on conformity and compliance. So let me just tell you now, You are creative. You have an amazing imagination. It's just suppressed from years of not being used to its full potential. So that whole, oh, I'm not creative enough, that thing doesn't fly with me at all. If you're intent on growing your own business, you've got to have vision. You need to tap into your creativity at least a little bit and play with the possibilities. Now, this is something that comes very easy to me. So if you're stuck with expanding your ideas, let's talk. I don't work for free, but I can help you create the freedom. You can book a 60-minute Spark session where you get to tap into my brain for an hour. One of my natural talents that I literally can't contain is brainstorming the possibilities when someone shares an idea with me. I'm like a kid in a candy store with all the ideas. It goes something like, ooh, what about this? What about that? Have you considered this angle? Or you can take it further and you can book a virtual VIP day and get five hours of my attention on your biggest challenge right now. We'll brainstorm and simplify the shiz out of one area of your business so you're creating more freedom for yourself and for your clients. One of my clients said recently that she's now making plenty of money. Her monthly income has more than tripled in the first six months that we work together. So right now, making more money isn't her primary focus. It's refining her offers and outsourcing various tasks so she can support other business owners. And that's something that really lights her up, knowing that She can pay someone for their special talents, something they love to do, and that money in turn helps support that person's family and their own business growth. That's all part of bringing more fun into your business and your money. When you stop doing things that don't feel fun for you and give them to people who do get a kick out of it, the whole energy of your business shifts. That's freedom. When you're charging appropriately for the work you and your team provide, you're creating freedom for yourself and countless others. Freedom in the form of time, energy, headspace, emotions, and yes, freedom for your bank account as well. You can feel great about having more time and energy for your kind of fun. And you can feel great about supporting someone else's idea of fun too. It's a win-win situation. So that's what I got for you today. Stop selling free, start selling freedom. The possibilities for you and your clients are endless when you shift your thinking about what you can offer and what you charge for it. Take care, have fun selling freedom in everything you do, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. If you found this episode useful, make sure you hit that follow button on your chosen podcast platform so you get the notifications when each new episode goes live and you don't miss anything. 
If you know someone who would also get something from it, don't be shy, share it with them. One of the best things about being a business coach for online entrepreneurs is helping them make sense of their creative ideas and turn them into a simple, clear business system that actually makes money. A client recently described me as a castle building expert. You've got the big vision and some of the building materials already, but you don't quite know how to bring it all together into a solid foundation. Then I come along and I show you the blueprint that makes sense of it all. I love that analogy. And I'd love to show you your personalized blueprint, the one that's just right for you and your clients. But I can't do that until you join Ignite, my business and money coaching program. So head on over to deirdreamies.com forward slash Ignite for all the details. Fill out the application form and let's talk about building your castle in the simplest, easiest way possible.